As we reported earlier in the program, the Senate today overwhelmingly passed new sanctions against Iran. But a key amendment makes that bill even broader. It now includes sanctions aimed at Russia. This is five months after U.S. intelligence agencies made public that Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered cyber interference in the 2016 election. Lisa Desjardins has been following the vote, and she joins me now. So, Lisa, tell us what these Russia sanctions are. These are not just symbolic, Judy. These are significant sanctions. Let's take a quick look. First of all, they target Russian industries, especially the energy sector. Those sanctions would include things limiting U.S. companies, pro prohibiting them from working with Russian firms, say, exploring the Arctic. That's a big deal. Also, this would target individuals working in defense or intelligence, individual Russians. There's some new powers in here that Treasury would get access to U.S. bank records of Russian oligarchs. Also. $250 million for a countering Russian influence fund that would focus on cybersecurity, but also could be some U.S. propaganda. And separately, uh, the Senate passed an amendment to this that affects the president. Tell us about that. This is remarkable, Judy. This is a Republican Congress asserting power with a Republican president in, in office. Let's look at exactly how that would work. If this president wanted to roll back any of these sanctions, he would have to give Congress 30-day notice, 30-day notice under this amendment. Congress could then disapprove and ultimately block the president from rolling back sanctions with a two-thirds vote. Essentially, Judy, what the Senate is saying here is we think Congress should set Russia policy now, not the president. And what is the White House saying about all this? The White House today said it's reviewing these sanctions. No secret, the president's in a very tricky position here, not just because of this Russia investigation, but because he and his secretary of state have said they don't think this is a good time to increase sanctions on Russia. They think it could backfire. But it's interesting, Judy, the Senate attached these Russia sanctions to an Iran sanctions bill that the president wants to sign. Meanwhile, Democrats are worried about the Iran sanctions, worried that that could cause problems with the Iran deal. This leaves a president deciding, does he swallow these Russia sanctions that go with an Iran deal he likes? at a time of a Russia investigation, we have to wait and see. And in two seconds, if the president were to veto this, the assumption is it would be overridden. That's correct. It passed with 98 votes in the Senate. Absolutely, they would override that veto. Lisa Desjardins, thank you. My pleasure.